Just kidding. Do you really think I will be doing that in this big 2020? We don't need to do this anymore, girls. We have other things now. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Make sure you click the subscribe button down there if you're not already. And thank you for joining me today. So today, we are talking all about how to achieve, you know, thick, juicy, luscious looking hair when in actual fact i have fine thin limp lifeless hair so i'm going to tell you all about how i you know add a bit of volume to it add a bit of you know body body to the hair today's video is in partnership with pantene which is incredible thank you so much pantene for sponsoring this video I have used them ever since I was a teenager. So full circle moment, very, very excited to be doing this today. So a recent study by Pantene showed that 37% of women said they had thin or fine hair. And only 7% of those women said they had a good hair day every day. I'm raising my hand because I agree it's me. It's me, I'm part of the 93%. This is why you always see me with my hair up because I just can't be bothered to tackle all this for me putting my hair up is so much easier but like i love wearing my hair down it's just it doesn't i mean it didn't always look that great not these days you know i'm gonna let you know my secrets so pantene are on a mission to help us find haired gals to you know add a bit more volume and you know stop doing all the extra stuff to get volume in our hair and just make it simple with some just really great staple products i don't know about you guys but my hair is thin and fine but i have a lot of it so it gets weighed down so easily like you might look at me and be like oh my god she's got like loads of hair no i have thin hair it's just a lot of it today i'm gonna be showing you all these products one more from pantene's brand new lift and volume range and this i can't I'm so excited to talk about this. Let's just get into it. So all of these products are about thick baiting, you know, tricking the people into thinking that we have big voluminous hair. We're well, doing a little bit of deceiving, but it's all good. It's all healthy deceiving. It's all for a good cause. I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I used to do the craziest things to my hair just to try and get like an inch of volume. I would backcomb it so much. You know those little backcombing brushes? I would like... Oh my god, it makes me cringe when I think about the things that I did to my hair. I would just back comb it so much, hairspray it, and it was so crunchy and crispy and nasty. I would use heated rollers, I would use normal rollers, I would pin it to try and lift it, I would sleep certain ways. And the thing is, I put so much effort into it and it didn't even add a smidge of volume. It literally just made my hair look like a bird's nest. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've been going recently on like a bit of a hair journey, you know, I've been looking after my wavy hair more and I've been using products on it that will enhance the curls, if you want to call it that, more like waves, and just make it a lot healthier. I went through a stage where my hair just got in really bad condition and I needed to salvage it. So because my hair is quite long, I often get weighed down at the root. So I was looking for specific products, you know, that would kind of add some more volume up here because around here, you know, it had a little bit of volume, but I mean, I've, I've added more to it now. So getting volume at the root has always been a problem for me, and I have a hero product today that's going to help with that. So this collection, I'm so happy to say, is sulfate and silicone free! Woo! I've been using them for quite a while now, and yeah, I'm going to let you know my thoughts and show you my kind of routine for getting thicker hair. Also, don't worry, I am going to do a full in-depth curly wavy hair routine soon with all my methods and things like that in depth because I know you guys have been asking for it so that is coming. So the main ingredients for all the products in the range are rose water and biotin. Biotin is we all know great for hair skin nails all that kind of stuff and rose water actually helps combating frizz and adding shine to the hair so when i get in the shower i use the sulfate free thickening shampoo and i just put it in my hands i like to cup my hair at the back because my hair like can get weighed down really easily i kind of hold it at the back so that the water doesn't weigh it down so when i'm washing it you know scrub a dub dub in the scalp but i also hold it up at the back and i've been using that and then i also love the conditioner when i was younger i had this thing in my 
head that like you only condition from like m the middle of your hair down and wow I was doing it wrong my whole life so make sure you get your whole head like condition your scalp and everything like that even if you have fine and thin hair that moisture in your hair is like essential to be honest and I have always had pretty oily hair as well like oily scalp and I still condition like the tops of my hair I detangle in the shower as well so using that really helps when I am like getting the knots out of my hair my hair is so knotty it's ridiculous also once every couple of weeks i will use a hair mask this is the body and strength hair mask from the collection they all smell absolutely incredible like when i got this package you could smell them through the box like i just it leaves your hair smelling so good and i think that's so nice like when people come close to you and they can smell your hair like i just feel like it's so nice I love the smell, it smells luxurious, expensive. So this is also silicone free, which is great, and it's also super easy. So you can be in the shower, you know, wash your conditioner out and then put this in as a treatment. So you literally put it all over your hair, leave it in for two minutes and then wash it out. So you don't have to leave it in for like half an hour or whatever, you can literally wash your body as you leave this in. And it's just a really quick and easy treatment that's gonna leave your hair feeling super soft and also thicker when you get out of the shower. I absolutely love these wash products and I've been using them for a while now, but the real big heroes for me are the styling products. So it's great to have a good base, you know, for washing your hair, but when it comes to more volume and thickness and you know, more zhuzh in the hair, the styling products are where it's at. So we have three hero products here today and I'm gonna tell you about every single one. So after I've done with washing my hair and everything like that, I get out of the shower and I dry my hair with a t-shirt. I do this because it's just better for my type of hair. Using a rough abrasive towel kind of breaks my hair and it's just not great when it's already damaged. So I use a t-shirt and I scrunch up and then after that, I will use this hair multiplier. This, this is actually a game changer. So this gives you the illusion of 6,500 more hair strands, which is crazy in itself. So you can use it on damp or dry hair. I like to use it just when I get out of the shower, just to like put that in when the hair is still damp. On like the days after that of with styling, I will use it again, but I'll tell you about that later. So I literally just part my hair from like the root to like the top of my ear. I'll part it in like four or five sections and spray it in and then just massage the product into my scalp. It's like a nice little head massage as well, but you're also just like getting that product in there. This is great for me because like I said, I don't have that much volume in the root, especially because my hair's long at the moment, I need a haircut and it's being weighed down. So trying to add that volume right at the root and using a product for that, on your scalp really really helps and I really love this one. As for when I'm out of the shower and my hair is dry, I have a couple more products here. So I get a lot of frizz because I'm still, you know, like transitioning on my hair journey to health, you know? So using a hair oil really helps, but like I said, my hair does kind of get oily at times and it can get weighed down. So what I like to do with this mist, first of all, let me show you the mist because it's seamless, like. That's so satisfying to me. So this is the seven in one weightless oil mist. It has biotin and rose water as well, but it also has castor oil, which is so good for your hair and for also helping it grow. So in, sometimes I'll spray it directly on my hair, probably around like the ends of my hair. If I have some like loose scraggly ends, like things like that, just to add a bit of moisture and oil in there. Or I will spray it directly onto my hands, onto the palms of my hands, rub my hands together and kind of go over my hair in a motion to like get rid of the frizz. So I'm almost like a little cast just to smooth it out so I'm not spraying it directly on there. But I like to use these, both these methods. Now, this is from the Waterless Collection and it's called the Texturizing Sugar Spray. This is also great. I love to use this in like the body of my hair. So I'll kind of mess it up a little bit and then spray it right in there. And it's just like a, you no, know, like a sugar spray. So I used to use salt sprays to add a bit more texture in there, but I love this one. It smells incredible and it works so well. So adding that little bit of, I mean, like it says, it's a texturizing spray, but adding that texture in there, product with texture, also makes your hair look just so much thicker in the body. It's crazy. I really love it. And I also scrunch up with that, you know, to kind of, bring back the curls in my hair, but it really, really, really adds a lot of volume in there, you know, makes it look a lot thicker than it actually is. And then also in between washes, you can use this every single day, the hair multiplier. So I'll also go in with that if I need some more body up here. Again, just massage it in, perfect. I just think it's really great that Pantene has brought out a line like for fine haired girls, but also using products that are really gonna like make our hair healthier, like the sulfate and silicone free, because you know, a lot of the time when I started like my journey of, you know, looking after my hair and stuff, it's not that easy to find 
products with these kind of ingredients that are drugstore. So there's honestly not that many out there. So you end up spending so much money on hair care and you know, not everyone has the money to do that. So I'm so happy that Pantene as a drugstore brand has brought out a product that can be used by so many people. A couple more tips that I use is, sometimes I will like flip my head upside down and use the products and I don't know if it helps. Don't take my word for it. I actually don't know if it helps, but you know when it feels like it helps? It feels like it's doing something and, and that's good. So if I like put my hair upside down whilst I am, you know, adding some products in there just to kind of, you know, mm, get the volume in there, get my nails in there. I love having long nails to just really get in there. Also, sometimes I will diffuse my hair. Not always. A lot of the time I will just let it air dry because I'm lazy. But diffusing adds a lot of volume, especially with these products that I'm using because it's going to like really meld all the products in there and get it into your hair and get it nice and volumized. I also sleep with my hair just in a really loose top knot. So I like flip my head upside down, put it round once, like the bubble, and then put it round once more, but like leave it half. So it's a really loose kind of pineapple style. Um, and I'll use like a silk pillowcase. That's just how I sleep. So I hope this has helped in some way. I hope this helped that like, kind of tips that I do, products that I use, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, down below, let me know some crazy things that you have done in your teenage years to try and add volume to your hair and we can all have a laugh and a giggle together because I know I am not the only one that used to do crazy things. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. All the products that I've talked about today will be down below if you wanna go back and look at them. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.